Bola Tinubu has assured that he's committed to rebuilding nation, noting that Nigeria has no reason to be poor considering the vast natural resources the country is blessed with in almost every part of the country. The president re-echoed his commitment when he received traditional and political leaders from River State. The leaders were at a solidarity and thank you visit for the appointment of former governor of River State, Nyesom Wike, as the federal capital territory minister. While receiving them, the president also vowed not to disappoint Nigerians, recognizing the trust and magnitude of expectation and responsibility bestowed on him. I am the captain, the chief salesman of the country right now. We have to reverse the trend. We have to make what appeared difficult very easy and achieve possibilities within a very short period of time. Our people are expecting a lot from us. How much longer is lamentation possible? I'm not the president that will give excuses. I want to work hard for our nation, a nation united by a single purpose, development, focused, determined, make with prosperity a target for all. We have no reasons to be poor. President Tinubu encouraged Nigerians to look beyond the present situation in the country and see the bigger picture. Don't just come for the visit, but be committed to our spirit of oneness. I've embraced that. We need to talk to our youths. If we are going to invest in their future, to bring about success, progress, and development, they need to hear from us that it's the need for mindset, changes of mindset. Earlier, the River State Governor, Siminalai Fubara, called on Nigerians to exercise patience with the policies of the President for future dividends. We humbly urge Mr. President to note that access to the refinery on the East-West Road is in most deplorable state, and we appeal to Mr. President to approve the reconstruction thereof so as to facilitate the transportation of petroleum products from the refinery. On our part, the state government has, in demonstration of our love and support for your kind effort, commenced the construction of Muji Aleto Alisa Refinery Road, which also leads to the refinery, to provide a temporary alternative road from, for commuters to the refinery and surrounding areas, while you embark on the construction of that section of East West Road. Former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Chief Joe Okocha, who spoke to newsmen after the meeting, said the delegation requested the rehabilitation of the East-West Road leading to Port Hackett Refinery to ease petroleum product transportation, as the president had promised to revamp the refinery. We have come first to show solidarity with the president and to express our gratitude for his recent developmental strides, particularly, as you know, approving that very, very valuable investment, 14 billion US dollars by Indorama Petrochemicals Com Company in River State. The promise to revamp the Port Harcourt refinery, and indeed for the appointments of eminent river sons that have been made into the federal government, lead that, lead, led by uh, Nelson Wike, our former governor who is now the minister of the FCT, Ajuri Ngelale, 
the president spokesman and uh, members of the Niger Delta Development Commission Board and the South East Development Commission Board. So we are grateful to the president and also have come to assure him of our total loyalty and support. Other members of the delegation of the River State dignitaries include elders and traditional rulers among others. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.